In life's journey, many factors shape our path, and challenges often arise. Unexpected twists and turns can make this journey arduous and demanding. It's a common experience for many of us to have our plans go wrong. It's important to acknowledge that no one can guarantee a smooth ride through life, but there is support available. This is a moment for reflection. During my search for wisdom, I discovered a text with six potential benefits that can be invaluable to those facing adversity. If you are having a tough time, read the following text from Psalm 3 and reflect. I have so many enemies, Lord, so many who turn against me. They talk about me and say, God will not help him. But you, O oh Lord, are always my shield from danger. You give me victory and restore my courage. I call to the Lord for help, and from his sacred hill he answers me. I lie down and sleep, and all night long the Lord protects me. I am not afraid of the thousands of enemies who surround me on every side. Come, Lord, save me, my God, punish enemies and leave them powerless. Victory is from the Lord. May he bless his people. The six possible benefits of using the text from Psalm 3. 1. Vulnerability and Acknowledgement the passage begins by recognizing the speaker's challenges and the presence of adversaries, reflecting the common human experience of facing difficulties and feeling overwhelmed by unfavorable circumstances. It helps to know that you are not alone in having a tough time. This acknowledgement offers comfort and unity to those in suffering. 2. Turning to God The text emphasizes the speaker's reliance on the Lord for assistance and protection. This can provide solace to individuals of faith, encouraging them to find support in their spiritual beliefs during trying times. It conveys the idea that even when facing adversity, one can find resilience and comfort through faith. 3. Confirmation of Protection and Courage The text underscores the belief that the Lord serves as a shield of protection and a source of courage. This can inspire hope in those experiencing a low point by reminding them that they are not alone and there is a wellspring of strength and protection available to them. 4. Peace The reference to lying down and sleeping in peace under the Lord's watch can be particularly comforting. It implies that even amid adversity, one can discover moments of serenity and respite. This can reassure someone struggling with sleep or anxiety due to their emotional state. 5. Taking action. Pray for liberation. The passage culminates with a plea for liberation and triumph over adversaries. This can ignite hope and tenacity in individuals enduring a low phase by urging them to pray or actively pursue solutions to their predicaments. Taking action works wonders. 6. Hope for the future and optimism. The passage concludes on an optimistic note acknowledging that triumph emanates from the Lord and petitioning for blessings upon his people. This can serve as a reminder to someone feeling low that the potential for a favorable outcome exists and blessings can be bestowed even amidst adversity. In summary, this text extends solace, encouragement, and a glimmer of hope to individuals navigating tough times. It underscores the power of faith, the availability of divine protection, and the potential to overcome challenges with the support of God. Subscribe to this new channel if you would like more on this topic. Your comments will be appreciated. What else did you get from listening to the text? You will be able to access the original text from the description below this video. Thank you for watching and please forward this to others so that they may also benefit. You never know what others are going through and this may help. Stay blessed and stay positive, and you will ride out any storms in your life.